Hjertelig velkommen, og tak fordi I deltager på det her webinar, hvor vi skal se på den øh, spæde begyndelse af AI-funktioner i SuperOffice, øh, der er udgivet i forbindelse med SuperOffice version 10. Dagens webinar er øh, lidt kortere, det er cirka 20 minutter. Øh, det er som sagt en spæd start. Øh, webinar bliver gennemgået af Janelle Smålstrøm, som er Customer Experience Konsulent her i SuperOffice. Jeg skal gøre opmærksom på, at øh, præsentationen er på engelsk, men dog er med danske undertekster. Øh, indholdet for dagen, det er øh, en, en kort introduktion af nyheder i øh, SuperOffice 10, men selvfølgelig i særdeleshed AI. Fokusområdet for AI er, øh, er øh, chatbot services og, og et par AI services og chatbot connector. Øh, og selvfølgelig så, hvordan kommer vi i gang, som vi plejer. Jeg håber, I får stor glæde af præsentationen, og den starter her. Hi, and welcome to today's webinar. In this presentation, we will give an introduction to artificial intelligence and show you how AI can enhance customer relations and simplify your everyday work. And AI and machine learning usually require a lot of a company's resources to draw benefits from them. But with our approach of embedding AI into SuperOffice CRM, everything is simplified and everyone can benefit from it, even without the need to have extensive knowledge of AI to start using it. My name is Jeanette, and I work with the customer experience team here at SuperOffice, and my goal is to show you how you can use CRM to build relationships across the entire customer journey and deliver great customer experiences. If you have any questions on how to get started with your processes or CRM strategy, you can send us a message directly by email, on social media, or reach out on our website. And if you want to see the presentation again, it will be uploaded to our YouTube channel where you will find more tips and inspiration. Let's take a look at the agenda and see what we will be talking about today. First, we will give you an introduction on the new features in SuperOffice 10. And then we will give you a short introduction to AI. And we will talk about AI as a service in SuperOffice and different examples of AI in the CRM solution. And at the end, we will give you some tips and information on how to get started. And as you know, SuperOffice 10 just launched. Our latest version offers even more tools and features to help you customize your CRM solution and build stronger customer relationships. Now we'll take a quick look at what's new before we jump in and show you how to get started with AI. And the first is advanced dashboards, where you'll get the ability to make smarter, fact-based business decisions by creating customizable charts that use a variety of CRM data. Another important new feature is the ability to configure the layout of your main screens. And then we have SuperOffice AI, which we will talk about today. You can also handle your customer's service requests directly on your mobile device with mobile CRM. And with DataBridge, you can exchange information between cloud solutions seamlessly. And we've also done some improvements to our web forms. And available first in Pilot is the SharePoint integration. And this feature will be generally available to all cloud customers later via the App Store. Another upcoming feature is sales targets, where you can get a good overview of your important KPIs and set targets like activity level, sales, and average deal size, so that you can proactively improve your sales efforts. Now that was a short introduction to SuperOffice 10 and the new features. And if you want to learn more, we did a separate webinar on the news in SuperOffice 10, which you can find on our YouTube channel. And now let's talk about AI. And what exactly is AI? Because artificial intelligence is everywhere today whether in personalized recommendations on your favorite online shopping or streaming platform, turn-by-turn -turn directions from your car, or interactions with your favorite smart assistant, AI is increasingly a part of everyday life. Simply put, AI is a tool that helps to do jobs faster, more efficiently, and more effectively. AI uses computer systems inherent speed and processing advantages to perform tasks typically associated with human intelligence. And examples include pattern identification, 
complex problem solving, and performance improvement through learning. And the terms AI and machine learning frequently appear together and are used interchangeably. But machine learning and artificial intelligence are not the same thing. AI is a broader discipline that attempts to replicate human analytical and decision-making processes in machines. And machine learning is a procedural subset of AI that deals with adaptive training to improve data analytics and machine decision-making. An AI can turn those enormous data collections into meaningful information, allowing workers to simplify their workload and gather more insights from data at their fingertips. Automated AI tools can also facilitate communication between your employees and your customers. This means you can significantly improve the overall customer experience by simply offering quicker responses to your customers. But the complexity of AI have often been a hurdle for companies. It's a common concern about AI in modern business applications that it's too complex for everyday users. But contrary to expectations, using AI doesn't always require coding knowledge. And with our approach of embedding AI into Superfa CRM, everything is simplified and everyone can benefit from it. And we first introduced the pilot program this spring, and now it's finally available in Superfast 10. And this version is equipped with AI functionality that helps your teams do more with customer data by acting faster, communicating better, and generating more impact. Further, we've looked at how we can embed this into Superfess to make it accessible to all. AI can help you make sense of the data you have and help you be more proactive, as well as automate processes that save time. It will also help you be more proactive in your customer engagement. Now let's take a look at some different examples of AI in Superfess CRM. Now this first example is not a new feature in Superfest 10. This has been around for a while, and I'm talking about the business card scanner. And this is actually AI that we're using in the mobile CRM app. And you can use this to easily add new contacts by taking a photo of a business card, and it will automatically update the contact card in Superfest. Let's take a look. In the app, Go to the company card click the new button which you can find here at the bottom of the screen press scan business card and this opens up the camera and here I've found a business card and this is actually my old business card from Superland so I thought we would use this as an example take the photo click OK and it will start scanning. And it says no existing match found, so we can choose to add a new contact and company. Here we can edit fields, and if there's an error, you can easily change the name of the title, for example. You can remove fields, or select new field type by pressing the green icon to the left of the value. Let's change the mobile phone number to direct phone. And map this phone number that now is missing a field to mobile phone. Press save. And that's how easy it is to add new contacts in Superfest using the business card scanner. Another example is adding AI functionality to Superfest service to help you not only increase in productivity, but also provide a better service. Let me explain a bit more. With the help of AI, it will be possible to automatically translate incoming requests into different languages, which can reduce the dependency on having the language skills in-house. And it will help answering incoming requests in foreign languages better and faster. Then we have sentiment analysis of incoming requests to improve how we respond. The Superfus AI text analyzer can also evaluate the state of mind of a person who sent you a message with an emotion indicator 
helping you to prioritize more urgent or problematic requests first. So with the sentiment score, it will show how the mood is right now. And this can also be used in selections. You can also automate incoming request categorization to respond faster. Now let's see how we can use AI in service to understand customer requests better, interact with a wider range of customers, and provide more rapid responses. And we will start this demo in settings and maintenance in Superface CRM, where we can get started with AI services. So you do need to have administrator rights to configure the AI services. On the navigator to the left, you'll find AI services. Under text analysis, you'll find some checkboxes. And the first is language detection. So you can select this option to activate automatic language detection for incoming requests. And the detected language will be displayed below request messages in Superface service. And then we have translate message. So you can select this option to activate translation of incoming requests. And request handlers can then click a link in a message to translate it. And the third is sentiment analysis. You can select this option to activate automatic sentiment analysis for incoming requests. And request handlers can quickly determine the mood of a message from emoticons, if it's happy, unhappy or neutral, below the message in a request. Let's move on to categorization. And this feature allows you to train the system to suggest categories for requests according to the text content. And when a support agent opens a new request, there will be a suggested category. The support agent can then click the category link to update the request with the suggested category. And this means time saved, as your support team will not have to read through the request to categorize it manually. And to use this feature, you need to train the AI in how to categorize requests. And you do this by letting the AI analyze a selection of requests. First, you need to create a selection of requests in Superface service, select categories you want to include, and also try to avoid requests containing spam. Then choose the selection you've created. And we've already done this, so I'll fetch a selection of all closed requests. Click Analyze Requests, and the system will give you feedback on how successful the training was. If the selection of requests was insufficient for successful training, create a bigger selection of requests and try again. At the bottom of the screen, you can include additional sources of text to analyze when categorizing a request. Now let's jump to service to see how the system automatically detects languages, offer you the ability to translate and see the sentiment score. Let's pick a request. And for those that don't speak Spanish, we can now translate the message by clicking this link. And the sentiment emoticon shows the mood based on the content of the message. If the index is above 20, it's positive. If the index is minus 20, it's negative. Or else it's neutral. And as you can see, we also got a suggestion for the category. Click it and it will automatically update the request. Another thing we can take a look at is selections. We can get an overview based on the language code, for example. Look up request. And select language code for Spanish. And here you'll get a list of all requests in Spanish. We can also select sentiment. And set it to minus 100 
which means very unhappy. And now we can view the result in chart. And save it as a selection. Then we can add this to the home screen as a dashboard. Go to the menu, navigate to system design, and click web panel. Select main page, add a label, and fetch the selection we just saved, and save the web panel. Then go to Dashboard, and select the chart, Sentiment Very Unhappy. And these were just some examples of how AI will help make sense of data, make you more proactive, and automate work processes to save time in Superfast Service. Another example is chatbots. And chatbots are an increasingly common use of AI that many of you probably have tried and perhaps with more or less success. The technology has a lot of promise and is on the rise for very good reasons. Chatbots are made to simulate conversations and often used to help customers visiting your website with support questions, collecting more information, suggest products, or even help customers in tasks like pay a bill or make a reservation. The applications are many and growing. And whilst the benefits can be many, it is by nature one of the more complex applications of AI technologies. It's literally getting machines to learn the complexities of human language, and there are some challenges in conversing with unpredictable humans. For example, if you're talking to a bot that can't get out of a loop, or that don't accept no for an answer. Now, we probably all experience talking to automated answering machines that are supposed to direct you on and not getting anywhere. That said, there are many vendors out there offering bots, and with machine learning technologies having advanced tremendously, they possess an increasing amount of knowledge and experience to share and to help those wanting to get started. So with your CRM data and your knowledge-based application with service, it is an obvious integration point between your chatbot vendor and Superoffice CRM. And this is why we have created a chatbot connector that allows Superoffice to talk to your bot service of choice. And by using data, the chatbot will be able to predict the next question and provide additional information the customer may need. And if necessary, you could always direct your customer to a live chat agent or offer help via the request handling system in Superoffice. Let's take a look at how the bot can help you deliver immediate and automated customer service 24 seven. And in this demo, the customer has a question regarding an invoice. And here we can see how this works with the chatbot, our digital assistant. And the customer is given different options to choose from. And if the chatbot can't help, the customer is given the option to talk to an agent. And when the customer confirms, the chat is transferred to an available agent in Super of a CRM. And from here, the agent can fetch the next chat session in the queue and review the conversation up until now to get an overview. And the agent will, of course, also get a full overview of the customer in the side panel with key information, previous requests, sales, follow-ups, and chat conversations to get that 360 degree view of the customer. And now to the question on how to get started. Now, these features are only available in version 10, so the first step is to have access to the latest version. If you're an online user, a lot of you have already been upgraded. In addition, the AI is offered as an add-on to your regular subscription, and it's a cloud-only feature. As for the mobile CRM feature with the business card scanner, this is available for everyone who has downloaded the app, both for online and on-site customers. So if you're on version nine and up, you can enjoy this feature right now. 
Now, if any of you need or are interested in more details around the AI license, then get in touch with your Supreface rep to have a chat about how you can get started and what is required. Because there are some things to consider and prepare, like you saw with the chatbot, for example. And the chatbot feature is not an out-of-the-box solution. It requires preparation and training of the bot. To get started with chatbot in Supreface, you first need to choose your preferred chatbot service, which is a third-party system, like, for example, Google's Dialogflow, Microsoft, and others. This means that it is more to a chatbot than the talking bubbles you see in a chat. You need to train the bot behind the scenes for different situations and based on your business processes, whether that's customer service or sales and product information on your website. And Superface provides a chatbot connector that seamlessly integrates that service with Superface Service and Superface Chat. And the AI license enables the chatbot tab in chat administration, and you add scripts that can interact with chat sessions like you saw in the demo. And if you choose to do this setup and training by yourself or hire an expert partner to do it, rest assured we have all the technical documentation to help guide you and connect to chatbot service of your choice to Superface CRM. Now reach out to our team if you want to learn more and how to get started. And if you want more tips and information about the features we've shown today, you can read more on our customer community. Here you'll find more information about the new features in Superface 10. We also have the Learn the Essentials section where you can read about the artificial intelligence services. And you can attend more of our webinars to learn about the possibilities with Superface 10 and improving your sales, marketing and service processes. And of course, if you have any questions or you want to talk about your CRM strategy, you can contact us on our website, social media, or even book a meeting with us or one of our partners. Now that's all we have for now. And I hope that you are as excited as us to get started with artificial intelligence in Superface 10. I wish you all a super day. Det var øh, alt, hvad Jeanette havde for i dag, og en kort opsummering. Så har Jeanette snakket lidt om øh, nyheder i Superoffice 10. Hvad er AI helt grundlæggende? Øh, den her machine learning og AI sammenlægning. Øh, vores visitkort scanningsløsning. Øh, sproggenkendelse, sprogoversættelse, sentimentvurdering, udnyttelse af AI og chatbot services. Øh, jeg har Camillas Vanetro, igen, samlet lidt, uh, lidt links til jer, som går med ud, når vi, uh, når vi sender det her rundt. Der er uh, selvfølgelig uh, manualer, nu skal jeg bruge manualer, men link ind til vores uh, guides uh, for AI services og chatbot uh, dokumentationen. Som der er blevet nævnt, så er chatbot altså noget, der skal integreres ud, hvor vi får sendt nogle uh, beskeder og webhooks, og jeg skal komme efter. Uh, så det kræver noget, noget grundig dokumentation, det er der link til her. Der er også en artikel om en uh, quick guide for chatbot training, der skal jeg lige gøre opmærksom på. Den artikel er på engelsk, men den har altså også nogle links til nogle datakilder, uh, hvor man kan uh, downloade uh, gratis data og, og bruge til at tjene, uh, træne sine chatbots. Uh, så der håber jeg, at der kan være lidt hjælp der, hvis det er noget, man har lyst til at kigge på. Og til sidst uh, et link til de to chatbot services, som Jeanette nævnte. Uh, Google Dialogflow og Microsoft Azure Bot Service. Som sagt, hold øje med mailindbakken. Vi sender både præsentationen og, øh, og optagelsen til jer, så I kan øh, få det sendt rundt. Hvis I har noget feedback, må I meget gerne sende det til mig. Det er min direkte e-mail, der står her. Det kan være ros eller ris. I er velkommen til at sende begge dele af sted. Så smid meget gerne en mail af sted, hvis I har noget at komme med. Det er alt for i dag, så vi stopper optagelsen her.